hands. I'm going to go get my chart. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to find my order. Uh, okay, I need a 16 French 5cc balloon uh, Foley catheter inserted in Mr. Glenn Rosar. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm going to go into the room. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hello. How are you today? Good. My name's Angela, and I'm a student nurse from Bainbridge College. And the doctor has instructed me to insert a little tubing into your bladder to drain urine. Did he talk to you about that? Yeah, I'm having a real hard time peeing. Okay, well, we're going to do this. It'll just take a few minutes. Uh, but first, I need to check your identity. Would that be okay? Okay, great. All right. Can you tell me your name? Glenn Rosar. Mm -hmm. And what's your date of birth, Glenn? 5-12-81. All right. Well, that's exactly the person I'm looking for. Well, give me just a second, and I'm going to gather some supplies, okay? Great. So. All right. So now I'm going to put me on some gloves. Just regular gloves. Do you have any allergies? Like to iodine? Are you able to eat shrimp? without any problem? Oh yeah, I love shrimp. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right, well I'm gonna pull the covers back and um, I'm gonna pull it a little further than usual so that all my students here can see. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just um, wash you just like it was regular bathing to help make sure you're cleaned really well, okay? So you're gonna feel me touch you. Okay, I'm going to take it. If he is not circumcised, I'm going to pull the foreskin back. I'm going to go to the tip, and I'm going to go in a circular motion and clean it. Put that in the trash. I'm going to do this three times. I want to make sure he's good and clean. Probably being a little more gentle than that. <laughs> um, okay, now uh, we'll let it go and make sure I pull the foreskin. Do what? To make it well too quick. I hear you. I will pull uh, the foreskin back down uh, because I don't want to leave it retracted. And I'll be right back with you, sir. Let me get my sterile field set up, okay? Great. All right, so now I'll take this. Wash my hands. I'm going to come over here. I have my pair of sterile gloves, my Foley catheter, 16 French 5 cc's, exactly what the doctor ordered. Okay. I'm going to open up my little container. Pull this out. Yeah. I think I'm going to need to put this on down so I can get to where I'm going good. to open him up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to open up my sterile field. Take my corner here. Put this down here. Drop it. Okay. Now I'm going to put on my sterile gloves.
So now, I think I want this moved a little closer, so I'm going to put that right there. So now, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to get rid of this drape because we're not using it. I'm going to open my swabs. I'm going to open my KY solution. And now I'm going to take my syringe, I'm going to attach it from the end of my balloon, and I am going to inflate it. Okay, great. Everything seems to be working appropriately with the balloon. I will let this deflate, leaving it attached. I'm going to take my tip, put it in my lubricating jelly, then I will put this back in my box until I'm ready to utilize it, being very careful that it doesn't flop out and go wherever it wants to go. So now, I'm going to take my little cotton tip applicators. I am going to let him know, sir, I'm fixing to touch your penis. I'm going to take it, pull his foreskin back, and try to hold it. All men are not created equal. So, sometimes it may be difficult. <laughs> Sorry to say it, but it is. And sometimes they even have inverted penises, and you have to really look for them. Okay? So, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to start at the tip, do my circular motion. Again. Then I'm going to take my third one. Now, I do not let go here. I keep holding because if I let go, then I'm not sterile field anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to come and I'm going to get my catheter. I'm going to get it to where I feel like I have good control. And I am going to go in all the way to the Y. I'm going as far as I can go. Unfortunately, on the mannequin, it will not allow me to do that, but I'm going all the way to the Y. So let's say we're at the Y. Again, I'm going to take my two fingers on my other hand, and I'm going to hold it, not letting go. I'm going to come over here to my syringe, inflate it. Okay, I've inflated it all. Then, as we did on the female, I'm going to let it come back a little bit till I feel it catch. Then I can safely let go. At the same time, keeping my thumb on this plunger and keeping it in. Then... I'm going to twist off, releasing it, okay? Then I can discard that. Now, I don't want it to pull on him. I'm going to change gloves so that I don't get beta dine and penis stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands, okay? I will then put on another pair of gloves. Oh, okay. How you feeling, sir? Ooh, that feels good. Glad to get that out of my my stomach. It was hurting. Okay. Good. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to put what's called a leg bag on you, sir, and that'll help keep that catheter um, in place. Okay. So. That's that. How does that feel? Nice and snug. Not too tight. Just snug like it'll hold it in place. Okay, good. I'm going to come up here. Let's see. I'm going to go through. All right. Sir, if you'll give me just a second, I'm going to clean you up. I will get me another wipe. Come over here. Wipe some of that iodine off for him. Okay. Great. Take my Foley bag, noting the urine, the color. The amount. If I need to collect a urine specimen on this patient, the only time that I can collect the urine specimen from this patient directly from this bag is when it is brand spanking new. It is the first time you've put in. At that point, I can take my cup, because this is sterile, and I can drain my urine down into that. But 
if it's any other time down the road and they want a urine specimen, we'll have to go about collecting it um, out of the port. And what that, I'm looking for it. What that means is we will have to clamp off this usually for about 30 minutes and then we can come in and draw out of our port for that. You do not connect from here unless absolutely necessary because when you open that up, that is a straight line, straight route for infection to go right up into their bladder and it only takes a second. Um, I don't think if there was anything else um, about that, but I don't think so. Uh, why do you think you wouldn't want to co collect from this bag if it's been in there for a while? It's all the sediments go on the bottom. Sediment. Sediment and stuff could be growing in there that's not really showing that they have an infection. You know, it's just because it's had time to grow mm -hmm. over time. Sometimes in long-term care facilities, patients will have catheters for up to 30 days. Um, and they have to be changed out every 30 days. Yeah. If, if it's sterile, it's hard, how does it have, how does it end up growing? Uh, how does it because end up this bag is going to be open <clears throat> umpteen times a day to drain, to drain this. Mm -hmm. And plus, you got to remember, it's going to be warm. Urine's just sitting there. Over, I mean, you know, because this bag's going to be utilized for as long as they have their catheter in. And like I said, if, if they're at a long-term care facility and they have one, it could be in for a month and then changed. Are we really going to beta dine and use the game 